Okay, so um, in this we've done the um, fork, the knife, the spoon. In this tutorial, we're going to be doing the plate, and I'm not going to be really using any um, uh, any uh, reference images for this. Um, so I'm going to start with a um, cylinder which I've created, and I'm going to come to my attribute editor by here. And if you don't have this, all you need to do is the second icon in from the left, click it, and then you have this. So if I come to poly cylinder one, I can make my alter the radius, make it wider like so, and same with the height, I'll make it a bit thinner. Okay, like this. And this is going to be the center of my. I can also alter how many subdivisions there are, like that in here, but I'm not going to. Um, so I am going to use this as this is the center of my plate. And I'm going to extrude out ones now. So I'm going to get my faces, shift, um, no, yeah, shift, and double click the second one, and it'll select them all the way around. So I'm going to come to Edit Mesh, Extrude, and I can just alter my thickness, and I can start pushing them up like this. But have a look at what happens if I do it like that it starts going a bit weird. So what I need to do, I need to make sure I click this little uh, icon by here. And now if I do it, it's a lot better, a lot nicer. So now I'm gonna, I've got these faces still selected. I'm gonna hit Control E and that will do another extrusion. And I can make the thickness go out again. And again, if I start kind of trying to move it up or down, it just goes really weird. So you need to make sure you center it. And then we can give it a little lift like so. Okay, now if I come to object mode, it looks very blocky at the minute, but let's move it up a bit actually. May scale it up a bit and scale it out. Okay, now let's have a look and see what happens if I hit 3 on my keyboard to smooth it again. It's a lot nicer, but um, what I want to do, I, I want to have a sort of a bit of a sharper edge than this, so I'm going to come to mesh tools, go to my insert edge loop option box to make sure that I haven't got multiple edge loops and I haven't and you can see I've got this cage around it and I'm just going to click and add an edge loop kind of by close to the edge so you've got a nicer edge. I'm going to do one here and one by here one by here. So now if we go back to object mode and hit 3, we've got a sort of more nicer shape we've got there. So that's basically how you make your plate. Um, you can go a bit more complex and go a bit more complex designs, but that that's a decent kind of plate. So let me make it a bit bigger. Cool, yeah, that's our plate. Um, so I'll go ahead and wrap this one up here.